the practical part of my presentation. First, I'd like to uh, sh uh, share some more information about the organization to which I implement or are already implementing that solution. It's Nitar Sky Subjective, as already stated, it's located in Hamas region in the village Nitar. It's the real, uh, village I originated for, from, and uh, it's a non-profit membership organization. It's important to uh, note. And it's very important as well, it supports the local farmers or the local businesses. That's why I uh, put so big, uh, such a big emphasis on supporting this organization because I consider myself as a local patriot. Um, now a bit uh, about available solutions on uh, credit unions in Latvia. Uh, these uh, solutions, I got the information with the uh, support of the Council of All Credit Unions of Latvia. Basically, right now, the credit unions of Latvia are using four solutions. First is the microbanker Windows uh, based. It's a microbanker DOS based, which is used right now in Nitor's Kakais. And there is an additional Tilde and Excel. Additionally, I asked the employees of uh, uh, Nitor's Kakais about the available solutions which are which they actually saw in real life they got a presentation when they opened uh, their organization and I asked them to evaluate these solutions based on price, based on uh, maintenance, based on functionality etc and uh, basically I found out that the best solution functional wise could be MakerBanker Windows and uh, price wise the solution or price and function wise additionally it could be the microbanker DOS yeah? but it has some heavy restrictions based additionally uh, on how it's uh, on how old the system is and then you can see some uh, solutions I considered as well for my master thesis uh, I don't go into detail I basically want to emphasize two solutions first is uh, homemade or local made puzzles it is as well near this system and then there is Microsoft Dynamics NAV which I chose uh, basically because of the good offer I received uh, for this system and because of the potential the system has uh, now I'd like to share some uh, uh, the implementation process of uh, uh, Microsoft Dynamics NAV in Nitor's Cryo Selectiva. I structured my implementation in three phases. First is the planning phase, then there is the implementation phase, and then there is post-implementation phase. For the planning phase, decisions uh, which are need to be made or uh, uh, very, impo very important for the implementation process. First is the project team structure. In my case, I choose the heavyweight. Uh, implementation strategy of a project team st structure because uh, it will basically uh, focus on one uh, team leader and uh, this could be for this uh, organization the best way because the organization as itself don't have an IT uh, uh, administrator or good IT people so it must more depend on the uh, outsource or uh, in this case on the uh, outsource help implementation strategy I will use is the dynamic systems development method because it emphasizes on rapid development and it supports additionally uh, um, uh, The next decision to make is the risk management strategy. For that, I made a risk management uh, diagram, and basically the four important uh, parts are the, uh, which are need, necessary to consider is the bad partner, in that inadequate system choice or IT system choice. Then there is the user resistance, which could happen, and uh, then is the, the, the risk of a poor one management. And uh, the last decision in the planning phase is important to make is the change management strategy. Most important part on this one is the it's necessary to maintain a good communication between the management and uh, between the chairman and the accountant. So that basically the two sides understand what they need and what they want to achieve with the implementation. 
The next phase in the life cycle of an ERP system is the implementation phase. And three decisions are important here. First is the transition technique. In uh, my case, I choose the parallel method because for a small organization with, uh, which uh, doesn't have so much daily data, it's possible to maintain two systems on the implementation phase, uh, the old one, the new one, and it's uh, uh, basically, you could say it's a less risk uh, implementation uh, technique. The second choice is the database conversion strategy. There are two choices, either manual or automatic. In my case, I chose both. Most data will be entered manually, but in some cases, for example, uh, contact persons which are to date uh, more than it's possible to enter, it's possible, but it's better to use the automatic uh, conversation strategy. And the third choice is either use in-house or cloud uh, solution. In my case, I use in-house, but it's really very important to state that the cloud is very recommended for small organizations because uh, of the small user count, uh, the organization could very well profit from it. In my case, I use in-house because I have the possibility to get with the UA, U, EU funds a very good computer, vice versa server, so it's much more cost-effective to use this method. And now I would like to share some uh, basic structure of NAD, which uh, consists of six modules, for my implementation, for the implementation of this organization and two modules will be uh, made from scratch it's loans and deposits and uh, basically I would like to share as well as this and 2B models and the most important part is the possibility in the new solution to make, make changes in uh, variables of uh, credits on the moment that is one of the biggest issues that yeah, the system supports credits that uh, they get information about percentages but they cannot change variables in the process so it's a very important feature for the organization and this uh, diagram depicts the workflow of uh, the credit module uh, basically this, there are three phases application phase, contract phase and credit phase but I won't go, uh, go into detail I'd like to show you so. and the last phase of the implementation is the post-implementation phase which shows uh, the two key points uh, instructions must be available to the users and there must be go live support and now I would like to sh show a little bit of the solution of the credit module I prepared uh, the credit module uh, has the main feature, it has the possibility to enter a contact person which not automatically is a uh, customer because first there is the decision so we don't need all of the uh, applica applicants for the credits to be automatically to be uh, customers uh, based on that we can first create an announcement of a credit this uh, report actually uh, from this form they can, it's possible to create a report and this can be given to directly to credit, credit commission which shows additionally uh, the schedule of the credit and uh, the credit, credit commission can then choose actually and if it uh, the chose it positively that uh, from this form can a contract be created semi-automatically uh, it's a function which creates a contract which is depicted here and automatically a customer card is created which then can be used to show debit uh, the debit amount of the particular customer which is also very important so now about the conclusions of my master thesis uh, first, it's important to know that uh, for implementation it is important to maintain a certain level of financial investment so that basically the cost efficiency uh, for an organization is uh, still uh, more or less uh, positive uh, Another conclusion that cloud computing is a good option for small organizations uh, because of the possibility to save costs is a very good an option for small organizations. 